Hello everybody. <coughs> How are y'all? Me and Miss Allison sitting out on the porch this afternoon. I got a little different angle. If you look around me, you can see some sheep out there grazing. And there's an old buckskin horse right over there. We uh, enjoying the afternoon. We got a little rain today. We actually went to Henderson for uh, my oldest daughter Shelby had a barrel race there. And so we went to watch the grandkiddos, Carson and, and Kale. So we watched them while she ran. We had a had a good time. <clears throat> Come back, uh, on our way back, we stopped by uh, the cow sale in New Summerfield. Man, they had a lot of cattle. We stopped by there just for a little bit, walked the catwalk, went in the barn, auction barn there just a little bit, and made our way on home. And <clears throat> I just wanted to Say hello to everybody, remind everybody about tomorrow. We're looking forward to church tomorrow. Miss Allison may not be with me. She's got a dog that's expecting like any any hour, almost said any day. So we'll, we'll see how that goes through the night. But I'm going to leave out early in the morning and uh, drive down. But I just wanted to encourage everybody. Uh, we've had a good week here. And uh, uh, yesterday I came on, I was working down in Corrigan and Nailed a shoe on. I talked a little, real briefly about having our feet shod with the gospel of peace. So uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do a series. I don't know that we will finish it tomorrow. We're in no rush. We can always uh, continue it a week or two. But I'm going to be talking about the full armor of God. So I just want to challenge y'all. Make sure you uh, make it to church. Uh, if you live too far away from Jasper, I know we've gained a lot of viewers. You can hear the birds are singing a little bit too, but we've uh, gained a lot of viewers from far off, so be sure and tune in live if you are out of driving distance. But uh, if you're within anywhere cl remotely close to driving, it'd be worth it. I always used to hear a church that's alive is worth the drive. So, uh, man, we're excited about services tomorrow. We will have two services Um uh, 9 a.m. we'll do drive-in church in the parking lot. Looking forward to that. And then at 10.30, we will have church uh, as well inside. That way everybody has a choice. And uh, so we're we're blessed to be your pastors. we got the greatest church in the world. I'll be heading down early in the morning. And thankful for a great congregation we got. We talk about it all the time. We're thankful for you guys. We sure love our church. And, and I just want to remind you about our two service times and... Uh, I'm going to, if you, tonight for a little homework, if you want to do a little homework, uh, you can look up Ephesians ch uh, chapter 6, and uh, I'll start a little series uh, tomorrow about the armor of God. It's, it's not going to be nothing fancy. I'm not no real great Bible teacher by any means, so, uh, but we'll, we're going to break it down. I'm going to even talk, I see Austin and Lawrence on there, uh, Austin, we were talking today, and we were laughing about one time uh, something that happened to me in Crockett, Texas. And he said, man, uh, I got on Bodacious at the Bull Bash in Lufkin in 1994. He's a ranked bull. He bucked me off. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, someone turned that bull out, which is very common. Not a lot of people got on him in Crockett at the Pro Rodeo. And I actually was blessed to win. I filled my, my card, my permit, at the Crockett at the Pro Rodeo. And, uh Somebody, didn't, somebody turned out uh, bodacious, and uh, Mike Mathis, the rodeo announcer here from Lufkin, he saw him and said, man, you like, <coughs> you you warmed old bodacious up. Uh, why don't you get on him? And there was like a $7,500 bounty. I said, ah, I'm good. If I draw him, I might, but I like my teeth. I got by him once. And, but anyway, me and Austin was laughing about that. So I'm going to try to include some a little stories of some bull riding tomorrow and talk about how, even a bull rider, you know, they wear vests and helmets. Nowadays, uh, they're a lot more protected. And we as Christians, the same way, uh, except more important. I mean, if we think a bull is bad, it's nothing compared to our enemy. The Satan goes around as a roaring lion. So we're going to talk about our full armor, make sure we are prepared, and uh, make sure we're covered. Because if we're not covered, I mean, we're no match. But now, you and God, are. there's nothing Satan can do to you and I when, when we're in God's will, we're walking in His purpose, and, and we got the tools that He's uh, made available for us. So, looking forward to tomorrow. We're going to talk about the armor of God. It may take us, you know, a week or two, maybe three to get through it. may get through it tomorrow. But I just want to encourage y'all, uh, spread the word. Invite some people to church tonight. Start a watch party. If you're watching live, you can share that with other people. Invite people to 
church at 10.30. If you're uh, going to be in the church, we had a really good crowd last Sunday at 10.30. Uh, we had a great crowd in the parking lot as well. So it was, uh, it was a good day last Sunday. So we're looking forward to seeing you guys 9 a.m. drive-in church. And then we'll be inside the building at 10.30 is all uh, our normal time. So we're excited about church. And your homework, if you get time, is to study uh, Ephesians <coughs> chapter 6. You can read, I didn't give you the verses, but you can start reading in verse 10, and basically you can read the whole chapter. Uh, but it talks about <clears throat> the armor of God around verse 18. Uh, but it, it's really good to talk, to study the armor of God. It's something that just because I put on the armor today, guess what? I still got to put it on again tomorrow. So, hey, love you guys. We'll see you guys in the morning, whether it's live or in the parking lot or in big church. So Allison, you want to say anything? She's She's got her working clothes on. So yeah. She said, I'm not getting in there. I'm just today. sticking my head over here. If I have puppies over here tonight, then I'll see y'all in the morning. But if not, I'm going to stay here and be on puppy watch. So anyway, hope to see y'all tomorrow. Bye. All right. Love y'all. Love y'all, and we'll see you in the morning.